So, one of my friends, Alex Omar, has a quote where he says, We do not become confident by shouting affirmations and facts, but by having an undeniable stack of proof that you are who you say you are. Outwork your self doubt. What he means by that is so good. It's fucking so good. That's what happens when you spray paint, bro. So, uh, Rogan. Uh, Just get rid of this logo. Of his and podcast that. about like building a massive oh, spotted the mask. Just individual iterations. So I have this. Uh, <sighs> 120 idea, pounds. Uh, imposter adaptation. Down the fucking right? train. So you know about the imposter syndrome, which is not feeling like you are worthy of your successes. And if you do succeed, it's kind of a fluke, or you can always explain it away. There's a way that you can not make your own capacity culpable for the things that went well, but you will make your lack of capacity culpable for the things that go badly. So, imposter adaptation Can't believe that, is like bro. adaptation, that. whereby you continue, really good, yeah. fucking as broken. you continue to get better in the real world, as you continue to disprove your imposter syndrome time after time after time, it persists. You're like, hang on a second. Every single situation that I've stepped into, I was adamant that I was going to be destroyed or flawed or fail or whatever. And I haven't. And yet, this imposter syndrome sticks about. After a while, you have to admit to yourself that your imposter syndrome has got nothing to do with your capacity and everything to do with your addiction to feeling like an imposter. Why would we be addicted to that? Because it's comfortable. Because it doesn't cause us to get our hopes up. If you don't believe that you can do anything, there is no fear of failure. It's the pessimist's trap, yet again. It's interesting. So, I hear about this a lot. People self-sabotage, all that stuff, because if you don't get your hopes up, then you can't fail. What I can't figure out, so that created misery in me. So in fact, let me set the stage. So, I'm, whatever, 18, 19, I see a movie called Amadeus. It's based on uh, the real-life composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And it is, there's a real-life character in there named Solieri, and Solieri in the, the movie has this lament to God, and he says, God, why did you make me just talented enough to realize I'll never be as good as Mozart? Why couldn't you have made me like everybody else and just love Mozart, or make me as good or better than Mozart, but to make me just good enough to realize I'll never be that good is, is devastating. And I lived, I, I used to think, oh my God, I'm understood, somebody gets me, because I'm just smart enough to realize how much smarter other people are, and it fucked with me for so long, man. Like, it really messed with me. And I felt, I always felt like, I'm always like the dumb guy in my group of friends, but I'm smart enough to realize that they're all better than me. And it became so emotionally devastating that I did something about it. And what I can't figure out is why aren't people doing something about it? Like, when you get the, my wife calls it the purgatory of the mundane. You, you're in like this, I mean, you've, said, you've talked about this. Where I wonder if this would still work. It can be a situation where it take you less time to travel two miles or eight miles. So the region beta paradox says that uh, people can imagine that you would walk if you're going less than yeah. one mile, and you would drive if you're going one mile or more. So paradoxically, you would go two miles quicker than you would go one mile. Mm. And what this identifies is that sometimes worse situations can be better than better situations because they give you activation energy to kick you out of the bottom. So you could imagine the person who is in a bad I would wonder if this would still work. You're gonna put your face. No way. No chance, no chance. Zero.
I know. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> I just came back from a 40 minute dog walk. Um, it's around 11.30 right now. I also talked to a friend on the walk because talking to friends always makes everything better. I also need to check on something from work right now. It sounds so lame, but I just have some things I need to keep an eye on this weekend. So unfortunately, you gotta do what you gotta do. And in an hour or so, around like 12.30, I'll start driving to my snowboarding summit. Um, I know a lot of people usually leave earlier in the day, but because I started learning snowboarding so late in the season, Season, like literally December, all the good local passes are sold out, so I can only get like an afternoon pass that starts at 2 p.m. Yeah, I will leave around 12 30 before that. I'll do some work and make myself some coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm Oh wow, <laughs> I feel like I smell like a walking laundry detergent, so, like everything's fresh out of the washing machine. And I get like cold pretty easily, so I just usually wear those uh, snowboard pants outside. So yeah, let's go drive. <laughs> Summit. It's about an hour, just perfect. It's almost 1 p.m. Get on the road. What the point? Oh, After literally looking for parking for a million years because the lot is completely full, and I hope where parked is a natural spot. But I feel so strongly whenever it comes to like snow resorts, they need to have lines because otherwise people are just going to be horrible parkers. There are cars who are parked so far apart, I feel like there totally could have been like a third car squeezed in, but they're just too easy to be dead. I don't know, they need to do something about this. This is not fun. And also it's like super sunny, so I'm glad my goggles will be put to use. Let's go snowboarding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's so sick. snowboard ever there is virtually no snow and it's hailing the whole time like i try a couple lines from medium to easy and there's no snow there's literally no snow but i'm also like not good enough to be on a black route maybe they have some snow there yeah it just seems like it's a really, really bad day for snowboarding i uh, have a change of plan ready to head home a little early and uh, maybe go to the mall I'm a little hungry. I usually just eat at the resort. But today, because I'm staying for such a short time, I don't want to waste money paying for that expensive food. But yeah, excuse the snow everywhere. Let's go. I want more chips. I 
I'm losing my fucking mind because of Apple type of developer by night. After working a little bit late in the office today, I'm going to go downstairs. The house is built in Brighton. It's a seaside suburb. It's a classic Victorian suburb. Beautiful, gentle streets, very green, with a lot of heritage homes that make up the streetscape. The brief given to us by the client was to create a family home to maximise all the spaces and maximise the garden. Both Kirsty and Evan are involved in property and design. So we're dealing with people who are very sophisticated in their taste, very sophisticated in their outlook. And so it was a real joy working with them to create this end product. The whole process was actually really good fun and I think out of that comes a great result. home very much divides into two zones. There is the original heritage part of the house, which is the front part of the house, and then it evolves into a much more relaxed, slightly more rustic presence at the back, which is the modern extension. The front of the house really appeals to me, one, because I think the end result is very beautiful, but also there are a lot of unique aspects to the front of the house. There is a timber screen that separates the study from the main living area that I don't think we have ever seen before. All of these things that have this charm where we have the privilege of renovating them and bringing them back to how they were initially, those are the joys for me. Then as we come through into the more contemporary part of the home, it opens up, it becomes much more expansive, it's much more light filled. The southeast aspect of this home works very well for us because it's light filled without being overpowered by natural daylight. The aesthetic of the rear of the home is also really informed by the Kirsty's Kirsty's travels. They love the beach, they love the warmth. Their travels took into this doesn't Italy. work. Then. There are elements Fuck. of that we've tried to bring into the design of the home, the rustic materiality, the limestone, the timber joinery, all of those things go to make a more rustic, family friendly, warm, open experience. Yeah, this doesn't work. There was a really strong brief from the client to make sure that when we looked out of all the windows that we had some level of connection to nature and sky. It was really important that we were always very aware and very focused on windows and what we were framing as we looked through the window. For instance, the stair, we are looking through a large panoramic glass window at a beautiful olive tree. And all of these elements have been placed in a way that makes sure that every window frames something that is... Come on, bro, that's 100% or, ...or some element of nature. In the stair that looks as simple no, as this, why didn't it it's work? about execution. Taking advantage of the double height void. Oh, why didn't it work? So it's getting processed. Wasted like all that money, man. Bro, I just want I just want Logitech to hire me, man. <sighs> I feel like they're just so lacking, bro. Like they're just lagging. So much. I just want to be a designer, bro. I like 
taking things apart and just wasting my money like a fucking spasticated dog. Okay, so that's off and this is on. Right? No. This is always an opportunity for a staircase to shine with the various elements that a staircase. Right, I'm gonna just keep moving forward, man. It's about the way I think I feel. Okay, unplug that, replug this. Unplug that, replug this. Unplug that, replug this. Nah, I think I should just bin it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the plug. Yeah, I'm gonna bin it, bro. Wasted fucking all that money. I mean, I got eight months. I think that's worth it, eight months, bro, I look like a, I look like a mad scientist in his lab. Why didn't that work? Let's chuck it right fucking here. Let's chuck it in this pin. No, you didn't shine that yet. Rub, just chuck in a bit. I've never really broken a, a, a piece of glass. I've been using this for like every single day, months and months, and I'm like, it's weird looking at the inside. Just chuck in the bin, bro. How light is that? There you go. That, that, that's how you get the uh, the fifty gram. That's how you get the, the that's how you make the lightest mouse on the entire planet. Lesson learned: Don't ever fucking spray paint your mouse because of this shit logo, super light. That G, the LED blah. You're an actual fucking moron, bro. That's uh, wasted. That's wasted money. <sighs> I guess we throw the boxes one way. Jesus, man, all fucking dogs. What a dumbass! What the fuck? Bum, bum. Rings, you generally get a fantastic space. The open stair is made using American oak, using steel brackets connecting it to the brickwork on either side, and then we use a solid. Imagine if I was to give this back and say, like, Hundred nine pounds, bro. Wow. Hundred pounds, just like that. It's crazy. Man. And these are the skates. Wait, what is the shit? I haven't. I still haven't. Heard. Oh wait, I can't even see any of it. Yeah, these are the skates. I still haven't opened these, bro. I'm gonna be chucking this as well. Just can't believe I wasted money like that, man. 
It's okay, you, you learn from your mistakes. Never ever spray paint on mice. Where was the difference? That sticks. Oh shit, they give you a sticker, bro. It's kind of cool. So satisfying. Look at that. Where do I stick this? It's a sticker and I should stick it up your ass. If it was white, if it was black, or white and blue. Uh, shit, bro, where do you stick this? I don't know how this is, just stick it there for now. Um, yeah, and these are the, the pad. Right. So what do you do with this? These are the feet. No, these aren't the feet, bro. What the fuck are these? Oh, no, these are on the sides. That's it. It's a grip. Mm, it's kind of nice, actually. It's kind of nice, fuck with it. Yeah, that's just on the sides like that. Mm, it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We'll wear that for now. For them? No way. Okay, so these, this is for that. Oh yeah, and that's on the other side. Oh, that's really cool. See, so, yeah, I never opened any of this. Oh shit. Start throwing everything away. I'm not gonna actually realistically wet and use these. I don't think I am, let's just throw them away, bro. It's cool. Bang, I ain't gonna really use them. I guess I could put it on that side actually. Keep it for now.
why not? Just don't get this, bro. So you don't want to go back? <laughs> Bro, it's just getting sleep on sleep. I'm going to trip over something. I didn't know our home had this massive fucking jungle. Come on, hurry up. It's actually fucking raining now. My hands are so cold. Bro, it is proper raining. Hey, best near you get this. Let me check if I have battery. Yeah, okay. Bro, we're going on to other people's lawn. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Bro, where the, where the fuck is... They're playing football. Go on then, let's go, let's go. No, bro, I've got good... Oh, my headphones, why am I getting my headphones? Yeah, put your, do you want me to put no, no, your okay. head straight and I put it in my pocket? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. You want to go through the woods? Bro, just up. shut up and walk. Oh, look, do you know where we are? At the wood station. I don't We're know where this is. We're walking up that hill. Oh my gosh. It's a different hill, not Lodge Hill. Oh, is it not Lodge Hill? Right, like they're probably thinking, like, what the fuck are these people doing? Okay, you're in Plumstead. Okay. Go on, you're teaching me. Yeah, okay, cool. It's not bad, I just wish I had brought water and some prunes and figs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would have walked another four or five hours. No, 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 he did not say, bro. <laughs> I don't know you want to go to the woods. Well, I don't like going to the other area. What? We've done a different route. I've never ever done that in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Go on, 
go left, go left. Don't just go through them. Düşme. Geriye islak. Bak koşma çünkü insan var. This way, no? I was so close to getting this man. Why is it so hard to construct something like this? We we need we need to improve healthcare, man. We need we need to race towards AI. I, I think um, what Andrew Kapafe said it's like you don't you don't solve that industry, you just solve AI, and AI solves everything. So gorgeous, bro. Why, man? I was born too early. I mean, I had a really vain childhood. I did have probably the best childhood. Best video games, best YouTubers, the rise of the internet. I mean, I met amazing people, but like, man, I just, I wish I had something like this, bro. You just sit there on on that little rock, like on that rock, playing on your Nintendo Switch with your wife and your children running around on top of this circle thing. This section is shit. That's that's terrible. I hate the awful job here. It feels too narrow and like that. But just that middle center bit, bro. Like this is what I mean. Courtyards are just everything. You have the nice natural light coming in. A bird might land in once in a while. I, I, like, don't put glass, just open it up. If it rains, it's like raining indoors. Like, look at that, bro. Come on, you're telling me you want to sit there for hours and hours? Just why? Like, man. I'm so close. Like, if I was born just another hundred years later, I would have probably got there. I would have probably got there. Like something like this as well, bro. Or 
Digital space can be more than a desk, computer, and chair. For me, it's a place that can stimulate new ideas, connect you to your creativity, and a streamline around how you work. It's just nice, bright, in this video, you know, like this morning, you know what I mean? It's just nice to... Before I begin, I want to thank Urban Office for sponsoring this Fucking amazing, video. bro. It's like an this advertiser. This episode is part of a larger studio design series, which I'll leave a link to in the description. From nothing to all that. To catch you up on what's happened so far, I released a studio for my media and maker brand, Mod Musing. I designed a vision for the space. I thought it was this, bro. Right. And I've begun doing everything from scratch, including building my custom storage and sealing my concrete floors. Something and about oak. Working on the area of my oak and white wood. I mean, time. white. A desk setup that has all the tools I need to create is inspiring and comfortable to work in and is highly modular so that it can be reconfigured and used for a wide range of work. It brings together some of my favorite ideas from my home setup along with some new ones I came up for this space. Starting with my main desk, which is made by Urban Office, the sponsor of today's video. This is the Sway Desk in White Oak. It's made from locally sourced solid wood and is handcrafted in Montreal, Canada. I've used Urban Office desks for years and have always been impressed with their quality. The Sway Desk is heavy duty and sturdy at all heights, even with the casters I installed. My favorite detail is the updated That design, keyboard is fucking sexy which features as well. a simple and sleek swipe up or down gesture to go to your safe heights, making it easy to switch between sitting. I was saying, bro, it's like, but, but this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy has like. It's hard, bro. It's hard to make money, man. It's just like I want to be a software engineer. I want to be a data analyst. I want. I want to break into tech and get that tech money. But like, and you know, and I'm passionate, bro. You just sit here all day and just clack away in VS Code, and you make six figures, and you hang out with amazing, cool, talented, kind people. Like, it's tough, man. So sick, bro. I don't know, man. Um, I do. I do want that. I just. I, I want to break into like the house, house design, like designing homes. I think it's just the most amazing thing on the planet. I wish I was like an architectural interior designer or halfway there. Like, I just hate how homes are so fucking expensive. It's so hard to just afford somewhere to to eat, to... to... It's really tough, man. But, like, I've, I've come a long way, though, bro. From, like... Bro, I just want to be like a designer, bro. I feel like I have such good ideas. Like, I love to just break products. We're just, we're just really changing, like, submit my ideas. It's not even about ideas, but I understand. It's just manufacturing, man. Like, companies. Everything boils down to manufacturing. The reason why the world looks like it really makes sense now. It really makes sense. I'm still a dumbass. I want homes, cars, roads, bridges, 
and you see all those concept companies and all those concept videos and of the future and you know the product and you see like you know Audi or, or Tesla or whatever and they, and they show these cars and they show these, these cool ass things and it's like man why is it this everywhere? This is, it's hard, it's just manufacturing it just boils down to manufacturing like a company boils down to 1% idea and 99% um, 99% manufacturing creating something like it's very easy to create something but it's incredibly hard to scale it and create it a million times very easy to is it very easy to create something once? Impossible a million times. It's very difficult. Um, yeah, it's very hard now. I, I, I know, uh, I don't know, it's pretty hard. Also, there's just no innovation happening here in the UK, man. It's all happening in the US, China, Japan. But nothing's happening here, man. I, I don't really want to just... I don't know, that's just why I, I, I preach AI a lot. AI is the only way to do it. Like it, it truly is the only way to do that. Uh, see, if, 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 why do things cost money? Why can't I just go to the movies or the buy, buy a million dollar home, buy a big daddy bear one? Why do things cost money? Because of employees. You know, I want, I'm going to be putting my time and my energy and I expect to get paid for it. But if you just re uh, replace all of us with robots that work for free, 24 hours, all day, every day, they do asteroid mining and they get millions of things, I quote, everything can be free. I can walk outside and, you know, currency was created 5,000 years ago in the form of like old gold coins and I think now it's going to be erased. If currency isn't erased in the next 50 or 80 years, Man, we, we really fucked. I think when, when, when we solve AI, I hope healthcare will be solved. You know, you cure aging, you cure... Um, you can like immortalize yourself through Neuralink. I don't know man, there's a lot of interesting stuff. A lot of interesting stuff in it, but it's uh, it, it's 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 tough. I don't know. I don't know how to it's hard to get a job as well, man. It really is hard to get a job. It's hard to. I do want to contribute. I do want to make the future cool. But I just don't know how. Like I, I'm not saying it has to be changed the world. Like, I have to be like Elon Musk, but. I'm just trying to get my foot in the door at the moment, and it's really tough. So, like, man, I've been trying to get this one David Lloyd's job for like a whole year. And it's just, it's just some scrappy little gym. You know, and I see all these people on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, on just like right, Netflix, whatever it is. They just like, I don't know, it feels like I'm light years behind. And there's this sense of restlessness. It is hard to strive towards greatness, especially when you don't know where it is or where to start. I don't want to die young. I do have a bright future ahead of me. I hope I do. Like I, have, I think one of the things that gets me going is dreams. You know, it's just, just the dream. It's, Something that Killian kill and Matt said. Uh, to dream is to be free. 
That's really true, man. As long as you have a dream and you have something to work towards, and you have something to buy it for. You know, because I could, I could die today, you know. And all these things that I'm thinking about, I could never get to experience. You know, I do wonder whether I will be a millionaire, a billionaire, or just famous, or just something like that. You know, you see all these people when they were young and they, and they grow up to be super successful. And you, and you wonder, like, you know, whether you have your turn. Yeah, there are eight and a half billion people. All of which want to live, live a better life. No one wants to be poor, no one wants to be unhealthy, no one wants to be miserable. No one wants to be scared. I think you're going to come Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of, I'm sick of watching all these sci-fi movies and, and just being on the other side of the screen. It's like, you know, you're watching pornography and you're not contributing, you're not engaging, you're not... Like, I want to be, you know, like, on the other side. I was watching, like, Avatar the way that you are. The new Avatar, and finally came out after 13 years. And it's just sad, man. It's like, man... Why can't I be out of there? Flying some dragon. Ten feet too, so people can look at me, you know, there's no iPhone. You know, one of the things that were great about the 80s and 70s, but there were no technology, you had to be outside 24 7. You had to be talking with others, you had to be. And now it's just that man. I'm talking to like some glass panel, I'm talking to a window, while talking to a window. It's great. Yeah, this window lets me see these houses and these cars and, you know, the outside real world. This window opens the real world, and this window opens the virtual world. And both worlds are different. I don't know, man. It's really tough, but I think just to be patient. Be patient, be optimistic. I'm trying to, try to enjoy, live in the moment, you know, like one thing I wouldn't want. It's just like I look back at my 10 year old self and it's like, yeah, I've come a long, long, long way. I actually have come a, like, I'm a completely different person. Like if I was to sit down with my 10 year old self, you know, I'd be unrecognizable. I am that person that I've always wanted to be. You know, and I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm way bigger, I don't think there's much future. I don't really think about my 20 year old self in that time. But when I'm 15, I didn't think I was gonna be my. And I had come a long way, man. I truly have come a long way. Yeah, if I make it to 30 or 25, you know, one thing I want to be doing these years is to be present. Not necessarily talk so much to the camera and documentary, but just to be present. To set aside 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, and just to be silent. No music, no meditation, no fidgeting, no looking around, no thinking and base, dozing off and daydreaming. You know, just, uh, just try to be present more. It's something I'm fighting for. Yeah, there's just one more that I have. You know, looking back. 
Yeah, I wish I could be, I wish I could have been more present when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Slow things down, man. And, and get good at ignoring. Get good at ignoring. I don't have to watch every single video. I don't have to do every single thing. Just get really good at ignoring. And yeah, just let that type of little bit of away. I do have a lot of things that I'm looking forward to. I don't, I don't think there needs to be a meaning to life. I, I really think too many people are so caught up in it. They, 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 they focus too deeply on, on some meaning or some purpose or some... I, th I think that's really useless. Yeah. Like whether it's your family, your health, your wife, your, your kids, your job, your career, your fan, your video games, like, I think. I don't know, I think, I think there's a lot to do. I'm sure it must be a little bit. Try to be present, try to be optimistic. I don't know, man. I don't know when I don't really... Yeah. Like I do want to be an architecture man. I do wanna I do wanna design and be a part of the future. You know, it's like Elon said Elon said it beautifully. Life can't just be about solving problems. You know, there needs to be things like when we were kids, 
that get us up in the morning, that got us, you know, looking forward to the day. There's no such thing as a depressed child. Because there's nothing for them to be depressed about. They have so many things and new products and services and things there that they look forward to. And I'm sick of the past being something that was missed. And Think of all our best memories being from yesterday. We don't live in yesterday. We live today. And I want my best memories to be today. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of grinding, you know, it's not gonna come for free. There's gonna be a lot of struggles, and that's good. It amplifies the good moments that does occur. So the more grinding and more suffer, the, the better the reward. Yeah, 
I want to be something. I want to be something dark. I need to stop worrying, stop feeling sorry for myself. That's one. That's one of the biggest flaws I'm doing at the moment. Is I'm feeling really sorry for myself, and it's just really like I'm not feeling sorry. I'm just being like well done. super ungrateful. Rest. Like I woke up today and it's just like man. I'm sick of like, like I just want to be, I just want to embody that future, to be present within that future, to be like, to just do the thing. It needs to get my own cold heart, it needs to get my breath, it needs to get my heart in check, I need to live my life right. And as I'm working towards these goals, I need to be present and I need to be patient as well. And these people like to be stick out to you, you know. If you're just in a car, you're in a car. I'm sick of being super bored and why I'm just looking at it. I'm sick of being just like... Thinking about the universe, thinking about the universe, I'm, 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 I'm bored as focus now. I'm bored as like, I'm elevated to learn about that. You know, I'm elevated to learn about that, I don't care about philosophy. I'm just going to try to get it better. I'm going to change the stuff that we do a lot, you know, it's going to be... I don't think we really work for us together because I'm not going to feel like we're in it. One time since one day since. Even Elon goes maybe into the floor. It doesn't feel like that. Like I said, I'm not going to fight with the movies today. I'm going to start with the new ones as well. I'm doing nothing, I'm just trying to keep the spider in my heart or not. And then you just touch better. It's not even how I want, it's not even what I want, what I want, what I want. I want what's needed. Things that everything I have to say is wrong. And if you don't Facing things on how I feel. But how I feel is not who I am. When I come feeling sick, chilly, or I'm feeling depressed and miserable, I still want to just put on a fake smile and still feel like I look smooth. You know, life, life is full of ups and downs, and everyone knows this. Every person has lived this planet, and every person will continue to walk. You know, there's going to be ups and downs in there. It's not all going to be so fast and never and many things. But I think the sadness is what makes, what makes it okay, right? Like. Be optimistic. Be kind. Ignore. Mess with me. I think this is God among you. I'm 
one of the most privileged to be in the game is the most powerful moment. Uh, but all in all, the Indian Major that we just planted in the field of 2023, cool as I am one of the most privileged. I'm young and small and healthy and I'm so amazing to have my life I'm amazing to have my life I'm amazing to have my life I'm trying to stay on my side with this I'm able to stay with this study. I don't have any rice for my head. Wow, I'm talking a little bit, but I think that's good. I don't want to be a thing that brings people from the side of the park. I'm afraid they don't have to be a little bit. I think you don't understand, man. Yeah, people come to see how they feel. Like, they just don't bite you on it. Like, if you have a stomach ache, the chest pain is there. And that's all. You know, no one is going to have enough help for it. You are going to. Now, it's enough help for your health. I guess I don't know. I like I said, it's important to remain optimistic. To remain patient. And just accept that you know, maybe none of us will. Right? It's okay if you don't become a criminal and say, see you any other day. You know, I don't know if my sister's going to see any of this. But what I'm going to be appreciated in the things I have experienced now and the things I have. I don't know, I'm just sick of being that depressed. I'm not going to escape. I watch the new cool things with the new guy. I'm 20 years old, I guess. I'm going to go sick of that thing. So much food. Eleven stone nine. Fuck me, bro. I'm getting huge. I'm getting huge, 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 huge. I need to just eat healthy, man. So why am I? I I'm eating too much as well. That's the thing. I'm making it. I'm just fixing what I eat. I'm gonna eat. Yeah man, I think uh I think we should try to watch quite nice. It's scary though, man. It really is scary. Like, this life is fucking scary. You've got to make that shit. Whether it's a simulation, whether you had a past life, 
Well, we found this a pretty long time, don't know. We said this a pretty long time, don't know. Halfway there. Every book, every philosopher, every... Everything, you don't know. Man. And that, that's the beauty of it. And that there's so much to explore, there's so much to do, there's so much to learn and cover. And maybe this is my millionth time starting that journey and saying this word. You know, man, I just love how twisted and fucked up and infinite this all is, you know? Like, all of this is, is just infinite. Perhaps it is a precious time. So it's, it's really cool. There's a lot to learn, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to say and feel. And when you listen to the podcast and you made a video about it, you know, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it, 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 you can I don't know. I'm really happy with the life I live. And it's good that I'm striving for the moon. I'm happy with the type I'm happy with everything. Actually, my hair, my nose. Oh, my hair, man. The fact that I still have so much more to do, like, it's really good, but like, I don't know why I'm watching the series. You know, a good friend of mine said to me, like, you rush through, you, 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 you rush through three things a lot. You're never really present, you're never really. It's not all my accomplishments, it's not how far I need to go, it's not my fits and my life. At the end of the day, I'm so fucking fat. It's not how far I need to go, it's not how far I need to go. And I bypass millions of years. We don't think that bad. We don't study into the years of evolution. And I always think that it's been my pleasure and my symmetry. I'm the main like underneath this house that I live in. Is your children, is your is your men, is your women, is your people that felt good, is your people that were scared. I'm sure they're saying like I did, like, there's just nothing more I'm saying. It's like a Mark Cerulius. The man was born 1,800 fucking years ago. And he just stayed the same age as me. He's like 10 times smarter than me. 10 times wiser than me. He's been through much more 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 than me. He's been through it's like it's like 500. This is what I mean, man. It's, it's really, it's really scary. It's really scary, man. I'm, I'm very scared. Well, I shouldn't be. This is all really bad. Like, I'm scared of the one thing that's so never to do. And that's bad. Like, I guess it's a hundred years or a thousand years. We're all going to die at some point. Today, tomorrow. There's nothing new, and I'm spinning in this basic of fact. But it's just, it's just not so much. Yeah, I 
said, it's, it's not scary. I don't want to move. Come on. Get a deal to me, sir. I'm trying to keep yourself. Try to keep yourself. I'm trying 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 to keep I'm just sitting alive right now. I'm just so great to think about it. I've got my hands out. I'm talking to this camera. I'm in my bedroom. But it's crazy how that one day someone else will be in the house. I'm just going to build on it. I'm just going to build on it.
Let us get out of sweat. I think fear is one of the most important emotions. And it's something that everyone can feel right now. We didn't feel fear when we would be committing suicide on this. Because even if suicidal person is still scared of something, they're still scared. You know, what if there is no life? What if there is no life? So it's, it's incredibly important to feel fear. It's the thing that gets you up in the morning. It's the thing that you know, gets you through the cold showers and the, and the, the long hikes and the long 10 hour workshops. Something that is deeply important. I'm glad it exists. It's something that you shouldn't be able to know. The fact that there's responsibilities and accountabilities towards our actions is so unbelievably important. I couldn't imagine a life without them. Mm -hmm. Being brave is being fair and pushing on all the combat. Some of that can show the show of us being fucking scared and still carry on. Someone like a man like that, it's very strange. I think everyone's scared. I think everyone is scared. Even if she's suicidal, she's in the middle of this I think we all, I think we all really are I'm done, I'm done carrying the habit. It's gonna be, and it's gonna be It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. I wanna, I wanna find a perfect I'm not seeing it. See what I want to say. Is it, is it really? It's just a few things. I don't think we even have people to say that everyone can say that. But we have to be able to see the level. I want to say that. I think I've got this time. I thought we were going to be able to see the level. I think we're going to see. I'm not a new to read something. I'm not a new to read And I never will be a new I'm not a new to read 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 I don't see it, but I see it. 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 I don't have to be that same way that I'm trying to be a similar one. I feel like I'm very nervous with me. What's stopping me from waking up that morning? I'm just being a completely different person. With a different thought. I have all these amazing resources I've got. I've got to do that. I mean, I just wet by the face. I just wipe my eyes, wipe my face, 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 wipe my face. Take good care of yourself. And just be happy. Don't be so anxious, so stressed. It's so well, I'm going to make sure I look. And I have to make sure I look. I'm sure this is pretty community. I'm not telling you it's not. I'm still going to go. I'm still going to go.
designed for as much more fun to be happy, to smile, and to to laugh, and to, to be optimistic, and to be a kid again, or a community of kid again. I have things that I look forward to, I rest this night, and I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. Because I had a new food night game, so a new Minecraft night game, with a new Call of Duty, uh, you know, like, a new Facebook account. It's very positive, same with my friends. I don't know if it's just... Don't try to do this part. In German, that's the only thing I think I'm going to do. I'm super excited. Oh man. Yeah, bro, my name is Marcus. My master ever more. This is a simple version of Chano Yu that I've been practicing, which I created through my whole matcha experience. And this way, I cannot only make delicious matcha, but also calm my mind, appreciate my life, and feel fulfilled. I have one thing I'd like to know. If I become a teacher of this simple style of matcha making, would you like to learn this method? Let me know in the comments below. Sixth, earphones. When I go out, I use these wireless earphones in order to listen to some English books using Audible. Yeah, I can listen to anything I want while I'm working on other tasks. Nowadays, I try to listen to 4,000 weeks while working. Honestly, it's really difficult for me to understand everything because of the high level of English it uses. But little by little, I try to grasp the idea of what is being said. Seventh, tatami floor mats. This guy's living my dream life, bro. I swear. Once he, once he learns English, bro, he's just he's living my dream life. The food again, so you can feel fun from the account. So in this video, I'm going to be going through five tips that I believe will help you to once again be able to enjoy video games. This is a super cool way to get back to the games that you're already playing. Oh my gosh, bro! This is Destiny One. This this part this part of Destiny One, bro. This corner of the map, bro. That just gave me mad, mad flashbacks. Mad, not PTSD, but just mad nostalgia. Playing multiplayer. And then this long alleyway where you'd snipe, oh my gosh, and then you'd like shotgun this area. Oh, this, this map. You're right. Maybe that passion for a game you've played for years is still there, and you're just looking for a way to mix things up to give yourself more incentive to continue playing. The best thing about this tip is that you can pretty much apply it to any game you'd like to play. Pick a game or even a collection of games and just go into it with a specific challenge in mind. It could be trying to win a game using only one specific weapon, or attempting to beat the hardest difficulty in that game. It could be limiting what characters you use, what controllers you're allowed to use, or just trying to complete it within a specific amount of time. One of the best examples and most popular forms of making a game more challenging to make it more fun is probably Pokemon Nuzlocke. Implementing all of these new rules has made the game so much harder, but also created this new lane of relevance for a franchise that, difficulty-wise, 78 million fuck, is pretty obviously aimed towards kids. Another example is that I'm currently trying to beat Terraria on Master Mode within 100 in-game days. And knowing that I'm doing everything with that challenge in mind has made me way more excited to sit down and play the game every single day. The thing is, they don't even have to specifically beat challenges. Something else that you can do is to just set specific goals for whatever game it is you're playing. Maybe it's the goal of the entire run of the game, or it's just for the specific session. In my newest Minecraft world, my goal is to build my base almost entirely within the new biome that just came out. Even though I've been playing this game for years and I'm pretty much just doing the same things I always did, the entire vibe of what I'm doing is different because it's all inside this one brand new area. Or you can sit down after work or school and say, hey, today I'm going to beat this specific boss, or finally complete that one building project, or I'm going to beat my fastest time. Sometimes the act of just playing the game can be too vague to get excited for, so making the actions you want to complete within the game more specific can help you get more focused on just getting through the game. This one might sound a bit weird, but hear me out. Playing games isn't necessarily immersing yourself in Oh, bro, man. 
I want a fucking girlfriend, man, and I want to fucking have play these video games. It's hard to make money. Why is it so hard to make money, bro? Because I don't have a job. <sighs> Whatever. It's the game. I do some of my workouts on the tatami floor mats in my room. I used to use a yoga mat, but I felt that tatami floors were thicker and softer than the yoga mat I used to use. So now I use these instead. 8. Carry-on bag. I just bought it for my trip to Europe for two weeks, and I'm sure this is gonna be an essential item for me this year. This is because I might travel a lot this year, and see many countries, and see you. I love this bag because it's so compact that I can bring it on the airplane, go upstairs, and travel anywhere. Ninth, Anchor Power Port 3. I also bought it before the trip. What I love about this product is that you can charge your laptop, phone, and other things only with this small port. So you don't need to bring any port except this to the trip, which makes my trip so minimal. After my workout, I take a shower. 10th, mock towel. When drying my body, I always use a mock towel. It's a small towel that is made from Imabari, a place that is popular for its production of towels. Great at absorbing a lot of water. Plus, it's not bulky at all, so you don't need much space to put them away. What I love about these mock towels are their design. This is camping and onsen design. They're so cute, aren't they? I work as a YouTuber and video editor in the morning and go to work as a teacher. I do want to do camping, that is something I would love to do. Level. FM radio transmitter. I haven't used any radio transmitter in the past, but recently my friend gave me this, and I thought it was a game changer. When I want to listen to audiobooks or music in the car, I used to put my iPhone into this cup holder for a speaker-like effect and listen. Believe it or not, it was okay, but sometimes I can't hear the sound Halfway there. because of the loudness of the car, of course. But now I can listen to any audiobooks and music more clearly on my way to and from work thanks to this radio transmitter. I love this man, man. This, this well, guy is so... This guy, this type of people I want to be, man. To the local super optimistic, super happy, super just I like... I tried to buy some food, but like they gave friendly, me a lot of food and sakis as a present. <laughs> I always uh, really appreciate it. They're really nice. So anyway, I use a furoshiki as a shopping bag. So a furoshiki is a traditional Japanese cotton cloth that is usually used for wrapping and shopping for me. When I went on a trip to Europe, I put my laundry in it. There are also many other different ways to tie it. After using it, I can fold it and put it away into my bag. It's really compact too. Anyway, food is ready. It's time to eat. Today I ate gyoza, similar daikon radish, and onigiri quickly. That looks way good. Mm. Thirteenth, sarashi cloth. After eating, I clean everything up. When I clean, I always use this sarashi cloth. It said that Japanese houses in the past always have this sarashi cloth in the kitchen. It's a long cloth and you can tear pieces off by hand like this. It's water absorbent so you can use it like a paper towel, a dish towel, or as a trainer. And it's thin so it's easy to dry. I've been using these cloths for a long time and I love it. After that, I do some of my evening routine. It's really cold nowadays, so I put the tumble into my sleeping bag. Around 9.30 at night, I read a book until I start to get really sleepy. Okay, it's time to sleep. Have a good night. Okay, so I've introduced my recent 13 essential items as a minimalist in 2023. If you liked it, please try incorporating any of these items into your life. 
as 2023 has just started. I wish you the best for this year. Okay, so stay safe, have fun. Bye bye. And bye bye. We use the space underneath to hide all the regular. I like to have like some home like this, man. We make use of the, the oak, the, the white, the plants. Bed Our bedroom is awful. We'll it's it's too much COVID. We custom made the velvet headboard using foam, fabric, and MDF boards. At the foot of the bed, we built silver white cupboards to store larger items like big suitcases and things we don't need to access regularly. We have a large walk-in closet by the kitchen, which also doubles as our office. As we work from home most of the time, there is a fold-out murky desk which we made following a YouTube tutorial. It can be easily folded away to free up space. At the end of the walk-in closet is a custom clothes storage wall which has storage for larger items above and below. While a big renovation on a rental property may not be for everyone, we believe that there are opportunities for renters and their landlords to work together in order to create value for all. I would recommend that people try to leverage secondhand or free materials because it's not only sustainable, but it will really reduce the cost of your materials. Imperfection can add quirkiness and personality to your space. We used this to our advantage with Jungle Loft and were able to just focus on creating something exciting. Is your rented apartment made to be featured on Never? Mm, yeah, mine is, because it's so clean and amazing. There's quite a lot that you can do outside the game to get yourself in the mindset of winding down and relaxing. Humans are creatures of habit. If you get yourself into the habit of getting your gaming environment to be more comfortable, it'll make you feel more excited when that time to chill out finally comes. Pick out your coziest clothes, plan a dinner or some snacks that are fun to eat while you play, and make sure you have some more or another drink so that you don't have to get up in the middle of the session. Maybe hide yourself up with some music from the game or from something else before you play. If you make this a huge big deal over getting to sit down on a chair or couch and just getting to play some games for a few hours on your favorite snacks, it'll feel way more fun not only during the session, but all the way up to whenever you planned it for. Maybe you plan to play games on a Saturday after a long week of work. Don't just come home and go on your phone and then sit down, open a bunch of random games and stuff. Plan what you're going to play, what you'll eat, and the most comfortable clothes to wear during that session. It's kind of like planning a date with yourself, only it's not sad. I promise. My mindset is, <laughs> if you're going to do it, you should do it right. <laughs> I think one of the hardest pills to swallow yeah, in fact, is, so true. is that maybe the game that you put all those hours into every single day is just not that fun. Any game can be someone's favourite, but it would be a lie to say that every game ever created was just created to be a good game. If the games you play make you feel frustrated, annoyed, or like you're just wasting your time on them, it might be time to try some new games. And trust me, this is coming from someone who used to think League of Legends was fun. I mean, like, it can be, but... Most of the time it's not. Leaving your comfort zone can help you to immerse yourself in worlds that maybe you've never tried before. Recently I just tried this random free game on Steam for the sake of just making a video on it. All I really wanted to do going in was give myself a proper chance of trying it. And then I found myself sinking hours upon hours into this game because I was so determined to beat it. It was genuinely so fun sitting down and just going through the motions of the game over and over again to try and beat it. And I never would experience that if I didn't force myself to try a new game. And like I said, that game was free, so you don't necessarily need to spend money on new games just to try them. I mean, that's why demos exist, right? Not that many games nowadays have demos, but... Yeah, yeah. they don't. Right. Why don't they have demos? You're like me, and you've bought games over the years just to never even try them. So maybe give one of them a chance, because any game has the potential to suddenly be a new favourite. It doesn't even need to be a new game. Maybe there's a specific game mode in your current favourite that you avoid. There have been many times where I tried different maps or modes a game years ago, and decided they weren't fun just because of one negative experience. Then I come back to them and realize that they're some of my favorites. This is definitely yeah. the hardest tip on the list and I fully acknowledge that. Making friends can be hard. I've recently yeah. been trying to branch out online to find people who play the same games as me, but nowadays the internet is so saturated with so many different types of people and figuring out who you get along with or who plays the game the same way as you is a challenge in itself. But it still pays off once you finally find them. For me, I use Discord servers created for specific games like Minecraft or Destiny 2 or Phasmophobia, and then I went into the looking for group channels and just kind of scattered people out. Eventually I saw someone who I thought looked cool post a request for Phasmophobia, 
And by forcing myself to join that one session with that person, it ended up leading to me having a blast for hours and eventually making three new friends to play that game with. We even had a new group chat dedicated to planning out new games to try together. Reaching out at all is difficult, and not everyone you meet will be the right person for you. This tip itself might not even be for everyone. You could be very comfortable playing games on your own, which is completely okay. I too really like the single player experience sometimes. But if you've been avoiding sending that game request message because you're worried it'll all go wrong, sometimes you just have to force yourself. Worst case scenario, it's not fun and you can just leave. But best case scenario, you make some long term friends to play that game and maybe more with. I'm adding this extra bonus tip because although I think it can be extremely helpful for a specific type of person, I also understand that it's very situational. Nevertheless, a tip that I think can help you enjoy games more is to simply livestream them. If you know you enjoy the games you play and mostly just have a hard time with committing to them or focusing on them, then streaming them live could help with adding a little bit of pressure for you to just focus on the game. You'd also be surprised how fun it is to talk alongside playing the game. You don't even have to commentate if you'd like, instead just focusing on streaming the game specifically. Knowing that someone could be watching is just enough anxiety to make you actually play a game without being genuinely distressing. My partner has a very hard time focusing on video games, so she recently decided to try live stream a new one she wanted to try out. And it went great! She was able to actually focus on the game and outwardly vocalize her inner monologue for a whole two hour session of gaming. Again, I know this tip will not be for everyone. It's a very specific thing to suggest, and if you're just not comfortable with streaming, then there are plenty of other tips in this list to try. But maybe it's something you've already considered, and if so, this is some encouragement for me. Go ahead and try it. If you're just doing it for fun, you don't need to be worried about having the best commentary or gameplay or getting views or having people chat. If it helps you to focus on your gaming, then that's great. If not, don't worry, this last tip might be for you. While the other tips on this list might seem hard, this might be the only one that you're upset to hear. That's why I kept it for last. But unfortunately, it's just true. Sometimes the best thing to do when you don't enjoy something you used to is to take a break. I think the reason this doesn't work for a lot of people is because they don't commit to it. If you want to try to take a break from gaming, you should really try to focus on the other things in your life, such as hobbies or spending time with friends and family. If you keep trying over and over to enjoy the same games and it's not working, then what harm is there in taking a week or two to spend that time on something else? <laughs> just the sunlight. Possible, but maybe you can combine it with some other tips on this list to make it easier. You could reach out to some friends and plan to play this new game together on the weekend, or maybe a fun challenge in a game you already play together. Then take a break from games up until that day. And on the day, make sure to get loads of snacks and make your space more comfortable so it'll be even more fun. And there's a good chance you'll spend the whole time taking a break being excited for that one day. Yeah, that guy's so course, cute. There are some like, so cute. as to why games can be hard to enjoy nowadays. There are problems such as having too many options, uh, not being able to access or run the games you enjoy. There are even problems like depression and ADHD can get in the way of you enjoying yourself. However, 9 times out of 10, burnout is the biggest factor. And taking a proper break can help you to take a step back and reapproach games with a new mindset. I hope that this video can help you reignite that passion for gaming. These tips come straight from my experience, but I'm also... Yeah, that helped a lot. I that was awesome. I felt like an outsider whenever I started high school. I'm looking around with people. We're walking around right now. You just can't see. Hello. Happy first. Keeps watching all this shit on my account. <laughs> all right, gents, are we ready?
Oh man, I don't know. I think life's too short, bro. Oh, we waste most of it, that's the quote, right? So much shit to watch, so much shit to play, so much shit to see, do. No, I this is a pretty good show. Oh, maybe. He's flying. Flying. That's what I'm saying, bro. I miss, I miss being a kid again. I'm sick of like watching super grown up stuff and being an adult and like I don't know, man. People are just so like I like being a kid. That's when things were fresh and new, and that's when things were happening, and that's when change was occurring. And so many people just you know they're nine to five, and it's good to have nine to five. It's good to have a job, but like when 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 you're outside of the job, it's it's the music. The people you hang out with, the movies you watch, the things you see on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or it's like it's just adult, 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 adult. You know, there is no being a child, you know, being young again. I'm sick of that shit, man. I wanna be I wanna watch these types of films, man, and enjoy them a lot. <laughs> Like, uh, that's, that's when I was the happiest man, was playing cartoons and video games. And even video games, it's like we... You know, we're Call of Duty, or Valorant, or CSGO, or League of Legends, or Apex Legends, or... Bro, I'm sick of online games. You know, one of the reasons I love like Japanese people or Asian people is they consume all this type of shit and they're so like happy and cheerful and optimistic and kind because they watch all these shows bro they're not you know putting shit into their heads they're watching these amazing shows I would be cool, man. This is, and this is what I mean, bro. I'm sick of like shit being on the other side. Like I want to be flying as well. Like, why can't we, bro? With VR or like Neuralink, just upload ourselves into some virtual world, create our own physics and laws, and fly around, man. Be Spider-Man. Be with this blue teddy bear, whatever the fuck that is. What is he? Is he a cat?
Doraemon, that's his name, Doraemon. Doraemon, whatever it is called. I <laughs> um, need to put this on charge though. While I like commentate. I think it's gonna get, this video is gonna get banned though. This is kind of copyright. She looks like Astro Boy. No, not Astro Boy. It is Astro Boy, no? Another thing as well, bro, is like you're on no fat when you're like a child. So. You know, you're not watching TikTok or Snapchat or doing Instagram. I mean, I've, I don't open those apps, I don't use any of those apps, and I'm way happier. I don't know, I just like, I just like watching these. It's not too serious, it's not too... dramatic and... and people dying all the time and I'm like, bro, I'm just sick of that shit. Like those, those shows are good. Like Peaky Blinders, for example, that's a good show. That's super realistic and, and dramatic, and but it's just oh, I do like this as well. Doraemon. <laughs> bro, it's what I'm saying, bro. They have such bangers. People in Japan have such good shows and they have good architecture and they have good vibes, man. It's just like the people in Tokyo, like, probably suffer the most. I don't know, man. It's like, do you want to have that Tokyo life or do you want to have that Okinawan life? But I can't just grow old. Like, I do want to contribute. I do want to... I know my contribution is useless as an individual, but if I contribute... I feel like millions of others will contribute as well. Is that a tip? I should just kill it, shouldn't I? I hate killing things, bro, but uh, if it's a tip, I don't know. Like the people that create this, bro, like they're so creative, they're so fucking amazing. And this is the shit that these people in Asia are watching. 
Like, our shows are so shit. Like, I don't know. I really did enjoy this though. And there's another show as well. I wanted to it's not like an outsider or whatever. Physical 100. <laughs> That's a really good show. Physical 100. There you go. None. Um, I like Rick and Morty. I'm looking around this place and I'm starting to work up some anxiety about this whole thing. Alright, alright. Last time I tried to find love on TV, the guy proposed to me with a ring pop. Who does that? My name is Francesca Farago and- Someone that has taste, bro. Someone that has What's up? What's up? What's up? I like these shows, man. Mandarin? Come, what are you doing? You can look at the camera. You can look at the I like the level of animation they're taking these shows. It's such a clean. It just looks great. Like, it looks great. Graphics is everything. Everything is video. Every, everything is graphics. Like, something doesn't look good, no one's gonna watch it. Like, every video game that I've played has amazing graphics. I think storyline is just so. There's only so many stories you can think, think of. But the style, the art style, the vibe, the pacing of the game. That's what I mean, man. I wish I, I wish there was a Neuralink. Like I could just upload myself into that world and fly where the fuck she's flying. <sighs> but dude, there was none of this like 100 years ago, 50 years ago. The only cartoon people had was watching Bambi 100 times in a row. Just watching Bambi and Tom there. and Jerry 500 times in a row. Like, Animation has come such a long way. I need an Asian girl. Hold up, hold up, I need to record this. It's watching, you know. So you're telling me I shouldn't trust this one either. I shouldn't trust this one, no. Whatever the fuck is there? I can't focus on it. Why is it not focusing? But yeah, there's, there's there's some red lights, you know, going on there. Sh I shouldn't trust it, no. <sighs> oh shit. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go and knock on their door. Bro, you should always give people. You should never judge a book by its cover. I think that's such a like low move of you. I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock on on that door. Do you know what I mean? You don't. If it's if it's bad, it's bad. You know what I mean. You get to say, "Ah, oh, I told you so." But um, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna see what's up. <laughs> 